want to tell you that I love you all. I love Hashem and I love you all. Good evening, dear ladies. I'm happy to be here, Besiata Dishmaya, after all of the holidays, Bezrat Hashem. And now, after we did Shuva, and we had such a work. Asteret Yemei Tshuva, we did a Foshot Chala. And then Yom HaKippurim, we fasted. And then Sukkot Bezrat Hashem, we tried to be happy for Hashem, to do everything in Simcha, in order that Hashem will see our gratefulness, that He will write us in the Book of Life. And Boshana Rabba, Chabit Chabit Vela Barich, we took five Aravot, in order to, that Hashem Bezrat Hashem will close all of the mouths of all of the prosecutors. Now, what do we do after all of the Chagim? So Besiata Dishmea, that we will be Lealtar written next year on Rosh Hashanah in the Book of Life, we have to start doing the Tshuva, to continuing doing the Tshuva from now on. So Besiata Dishmea, like Rabbi Moshe Kordover Sultot Agnenenu says, Ra'ui she'adam idame lekono, that it's appropriate that a human being will be like his creator, which means with his measures, with his character threats. So how do we do that? We, we are in the character threat, in the attributes of Hashem, of Lesherit Nachalato, which means that we are relatives of Hashem. We are going to go into it because this is the highest midah, the highest attribute. We're going to speak to it in the, in the, in the sense of how it's, it's true about Hashem and us as relatives and how it's true about us and our other human beings that we are also relatives and we're responsible for each other. So we'll start with Siata Dishmaya. First, what kind of job we start this year with. So we took the Lulav, and I want to tell you that the Lulav is Rashi Tevot, is the initials of Betaher Libeinu Lavdecha Be'emet, and purify our hearts to worship you truly with a measure of truth that we will be true to Hashem and to Klal Yisroel, and that we will be also true to ourselves, that we won't fool ourselves and think that we are righteous when we are not righteous, that we will know how to look at the self in, in our own mirror, but truly without fooling ourselves. So this is the lulav, betaher libenu lavdecha be'emet, this is what we are going to do. From now on until Rosh Hashanah, the next Rosh Hashanah, Bezrat Hashem, we are going to purify our hearts. Because if you remember Som Tasim Alecha Melech, that we have to be as a king, that the mind, Besiyat Adishmeh, that has the Neshama inside the mind will control the heart and control the Nefesh, the Ruach that is in the heart, and the Nefesh, which is the lower part of the Neshama that it flows through the blood. So, dear ladies, this is only by purifying our heart. And how do we do that? So, I would like, we'll, we are going to go now into a journey, Bezrat Hashem. It says in Bereshit, Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim v'taretz, at the beginning Hashem created heaven and earth. So, why is it written Bereshit? Lama lo batchila? Lama lo barishona? Why isn't at uh, batchila? Um, I had the word batchila. It's, it's, it's the beginning. Stop. No, this is also beginning. It's also a word in Hebrew for beginning. Barishona at first. It's also beginning. Why did Hashem choose Bereshit? So I'm just I'm giving you a, a, a small, you know, I'm opening a small window. And the window is this. So Rabbi Pinchas Friedman, Bereshit means bait, bait verosh. Bait verosh. Mize rosh. Rosh ze Am Yisrael. We are the head of all the nations because this is Israel, Am Yisrael. In the middle we have Rosh. Li, Rosh. You see? Li, Rosh. Li is the word that Hashem Mekadesh sanctifies the children of Israel. Vaitem li sgula mikol ha'amim. This is Areat Mekudeshet Li. This is the word of sanctifying the children of Israel. And Rosh is the head, head of nations. That's, we are the firstborn, so we are the head of nations. So, Bait Rosh, where will Hashem put his home, his house? Barosh, in the children of Israel, that they are the firstborns of Hashem. How do we see that? Eze Bait Asher Tivnuli. Hashem says, Bishayahu, the prophet, what kind of house will you buy, you'll build for me? But if you look at Bait Asher, this is Bereshit. You see? Bait Asher, the Bait Rosh. You see the word Rosh? 
So Bait Asher is written Bereshit. He says, Hashem, in the beginning, I already chose the children of Israel. That are shit, that are the beginning. And the Torah is the beginning. I chose you, my children, to be the head of the nations. To be my firstborns, to have Besiata Dishmaya, the schut, the merit, to be a role model morally to the nations and to bring and announce my name in the world, that I am the creator, that I am the owner of this world, the owner of the house, which is Hashem. So, built it by Yerushalayim with the even ashtiyais. The, the stone of, of drink is over there. From there, Hashem created the whole world. And he says, Ketiferet Adam Lashevet Bait, which means I made you in order for the glory of a human being to be in the house. What does it mean? It means that you, you are going to be a vessel, to be a container for me, Hashem says. Because Hashem says now that you are, the soul is inside the body, the body should prepare himself to be a vessel to contain the light of, of Hashem. The light that comes to us all the time, the light of mercy, the light of, of, of kindness that Hashem brings upon us. So we need to make our body, Bezrat Hashem, Beit Mikdash Me'at, for Kadosh Baruch Hu, like a temple for Hashem. How do we do this? So it, we see that Hashem says also in Yeshayahu, all of this is in from the prophet Yeshayahu, Lo tohu bera'al ha'shevet yetzara. Hashem created this world not to be a chaos like we see today, that Shalom Eda, the evil inclination is making big parties everywhere and conquering so many places. Hashem created the world in order that there will be peace on the world, in order that everybody will recognize Hashem and enjoy what Hashem gives us and by elevating the physical world to a spiritual world, we are doing, we are preparing this world for Hashem in order to be in this world, like when the first temple was here and the second temple in Besiyat HaDishmeh, Bimra Bi'amenu, Beit HaMikdash HaShishi. May we all have the merit to greet Mashiach, Tzitkan Bimra Bi'amenu, Amen. May we all have the merit, Bezrat Hashem, to hear and to see Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov. Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tishbi Laogledi, Bimra Bi'amashich V'David Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov. So dear ladies, we see also that the Rashi Tevot, the initials, this is one of the Rashi Tevot, but you will see this is a preparation to what we're going to do in, in, in continuation of the lesson. Katuv kacha, behanachat filin shel yad, acharav rosh. Rashi Tevot ze bereshit. You see, be, this is the bet, the initials are bereshit. Putting that filin of hand and the filin of head. So behanachat, this is a bet. Rosh, Bere, Acharav, Alef, Achakach Yud, Achakach Shin Slicha, Yud, Vetaf. The initials are Bereshit. Why does, why does Bereshit, the initials of Bereshit is also Tfilin, Tfilin of the hand and Tfilin of the head. We're going to go back to this. So now we're going to go to, again to the beginning. And Hashem says there, Vayas Elokim et ha-Rakiya, Vayavdel ben ha-Mayim asher mitachat la-Rakiya, Oven ha-Mayim asher me'al ha-Rakiya, Vayichen. Hashem, when He created the world, He created first the firm, firmament, Nachon? I'm saying that correctly? Eh? Firmament. Ken, firmament. So this is the Rakiya, which separates from water that is above in heaven and water that is in this world. Above in heaven. Now I would like to give you something. It says, dear ladies, Rabbeinu Bechayei says about the Pasuk in Chumash Vayikra, he says over there, V'chol korbancha mitchatcha b'melech timlach, that all of your sacrifices should, should put with salt. And then he refers to Midrash Rabbah that says kach, Amu b'midrash, Ma'im atachtonim nikru ma'im bochim. The water in this world were called crying water. V'lama nikru ma'im bochim, why were they called ma'im bochim? 
crying water, כי בשעה שחילק הקדוש, הקדוש ברוך הוא את המים, at the moment that Hashem separated the water, נתן אלו למעלה ואלו למטה, he put the water above, and you know that there are also planets that have a lot of uh, uh, ice over there, and ice that is flowing up in, in, in heaven. So when he separated and put water in heaven and water over here, התחילו מים התחתונים בוכים. The water in this world started crying. אוי, אמרו, אוי לנו שלא זכינו לעלות למעלה, להיות קרובים ליוצרינו. They said, אוי, that we didn't have the זכות, the merit, to be close to our creator. They were crying. That's why when we do tashlich, it's in the water. Why? Because we look at the waves and we see how the waves go up like they want to be close to Hashem and then they have to go down because Hashem said, no, you can't be here. I separated. This is water in, on earth and this is water in heaven. So Hashem wants us to look that we will learn from the waves that we will have a shifa that we will want to be close to Hashem just like these waters want to be close to Hashem. אמר להם הקדוש ברוך הוא, השם tells them, הואיל ולכבודי עשיתן כל כך, because you did so much for me to praise my name and you want to be so close to me. אין להן רשות למים העליונים לומר שירה, the water in heaven do not have a permission to sing in front of me, עד שיתלו רשות מכם, until, until you give them a permission. The water in this world. Taru lachem aze. Hashem says because of that, they have to wait until you give them a permission to sing in front of me. We are going to Targum Yonatan. And Targum Yonatan says about this pasuk, Vayas Hashem et arakia of yo gimel etzbot. Targum Yonatan ben Uziel, Zchuto tagen elenu atana, says, You know, everybody goes to Amuka to ask for the, to get married over there. This is Yonatan Ben Uzeel. Yonatan Ben Uzeel, Zrutot Aganelenu, when a bird, when he was studying Torah and a bird was flying above his head, she would be burnt. This is how he, he studied Torah. He was all fire. The, all of him was a whole Torah itself. He didn't have any other thoughts except for Torah. So, dear ladies, he says, The width of the rakia, of the firmament, is three fingers. Three fingers. Isn't that weird? Rakia is a separation between heavens and earth. The water in heaven is over here. And he says, Targum Yonatan, V'yas Hashem et rakia of yo gimel etzbaot. Okay? This is very weird. But I would like to give you another thing. We go to Chumash Vayikra, and Chumash Vayikra says this. And he says like this. In Chumash Vayikra, we speak about all of the sacrifices. So the sacrifice of Mincha, it says, that you bring the sacrifice of Mincha to Hashem, so Aaron Cohen and his children, they take by hand from this, which means like from the flower they take, but they take from... With their hands, comets, this is comets, when you do this with your hand, you close your hands. Rashi Mefaresh, Rashi says about this, Melokom Tso HaKetzad, so how does it take, how many fingers? Chofe Gimel Etzbaotav, he takes again three Etzbaot, one, two, three, and with this he takes comets. Al Pas Yado Vezeu Komets, Gimel Etzbaot, again three fingers. Okay, now we'll go to Masechet Chagiga, in the, in, the, in the Talmud. So Talmud, Agmara Omeret Kach, dear ladies. It, it says like this, the rabbis taught that Maseh Rabbi Yoshua, Ben Chananiah, Shaya Omed Al Gav Ma'ale Behar Abayit, he was standing on Har Abayit. 
as he was standing upon a step in the Temple Mount, Veraau ben Zoma velo amad milfanav. Ben Zoma was a, also a rabbi, but he was younger. He was younger than Rabbi Yoshua, and he was supposed to honor him and stand in front of him. So he didn't do that. And it says, now Ben Zoma, who was much younger than Rabbi Yoshua, saw him there, but did not stand up before him in order to give him, uh, to give him honor. Amarlo, Rabbi Yoshua said to him, uh, he says, Ulean, Ben Zoma, where are you going? When did you come from and where are you going? So he saw that he was absent-minded. So he says, where, where are you going? Where did you come from and where are you going? So he said to him, Amarlo, Tsofea iti, בין מים עליונים למים תחתונים, ואין בין זה לזה אלא שלוש אצבעות בלבד. I was standing and looking at the upper waters and the lower waters, כלומר in heaven and over here, and the, the only difference between all, the only, המרחק um, ביניהם, the um, distance between them is only three fingers. נכון? Very weird. אומר לו, אומר על זה נשים יקרות, רב, אמר רב אחא בר יעקב, the distance is only כמלוא נימה. hair breath, which means a threat of hair, חוט שערה, a threat of hair. So this, we see גימל אצבעות over here, that the thickness of the rakia is three fingers. We see that אהרון הכהן, the korban mincha in the, in the korban, in, in the, uh, when he puts on the altar, also he takes three fingers, and we see also here that Ben Zoma says that the, dif the distance between the upper water and the lower water is only three fingers. And Rav Acha Ben Yaakov says, it's only a threat. How this, and I want to tell this teaches us how to work Hashem and worship Hashem, Bezrat Hashem, from now on. So we will be Lealtar, written in the Book of Life, Bezrat Hashem. Amen. We seek, it's written in Bereshit, Ve'ikra Elokim L'Raki HaShamayim, and Hashem called the feminine heaven. So Rashi says, Shamayim, Esh Ve'mayim, She'irvan Ze Beze, Ve'ose Me'em Shamayim. Rashi says, Hashem took water and fire, And mix it together, and mix it together, look, Esh Vemaim, Esh Vemaim, and he mixed it together and he created Shamaim. Esh Vemaim, Shamaim. See Shamaim? Shamaim, Esh Vemaim. The angel Michael and the angel Gabriel. Michael is water and Gabriel is Esh. Is fire. Esh the fire, Maim the water. Esh the Yirah, Yirat Hashem, is the fear of Hashem. The Maim is Avat Hashem, is the love of Hashem. Esh the Maim. Where did the Aleph go? He ran to the earth. Because when Hashem created earth, before he created any. Look, if we read Perak Shira, if all the creation is singing in front of Hashem, it means that the creation is alive. What? If the creation sings in front of Hashem, it means that it's alive. Yeah. If the sky sings, if the water sings, if earth sings, it means that the creation is alive. Yeah. We don't see the livelihood. Only Bezrat Hashem, when Hashem will come, will have the schut to see. That's what happened to the children of Israel when they crossed the ocean. Then they saw that the molecules of air that they breathe, everything is alive. But you can't see it now. Only when Hashem, Bezrat Hashem, will bring Mashiach Tzitkenu Bimra B'Yameinu Amen, and we'll have the schut to see that, Bezrat Hashem. So, we see that the Aleph went to Eretz, and what happened, because Hashem asked the Eretz, well, you'll be the lowest thing in, in, on earth, and everybody is going to walk on you all the time, so uh, uh, Eretz said, okay, Hashem, I accept this, that everybody will walk on me, but I want to ask you, when would I rest? He said, don't worry, I'll let them sleep at night, then you will rest with Dishmaya. And it says about Rabbi Zosha, man, Apolis, he used to walk on, on the earth and he used to say, you know, this is like a confusing, he says, because it seems that I'm above you and it seems like I'm superior to you, earth. 
But we both know that in Nachon, today I'm above you. But there will come a day that I will be under you, and you will be above me. Can it's only a matter because we are only temper in this world, dear ladies. So that because the the ground wanted to do the will of Hashem quickly, they didn't ask more questions. So it was supposed to be called rats, run to do the word of Hashem. So Hashem added to her the Aleph of Ish. So you have Shamaim, you have Aretz. Bereshit Barai Lokim et Shamaim ve'et Aretz. And this is the Aleph of Hashem that connects Shamaim and Aretz. Look how beautiful. So we, we need to learn from, uh, from the earth. So we continue. So this is what Rashi says. We go to Tikkunei Azor Siman Yud. It's written, Oraita belot chilu uchimu lafarchat le'ela. The Torah that we study, the Tilim that we read, all of the blessings and everything that we daven and we do everything to Hashem doesn't go up to heaven under the throne of Hashem without the fear of Hashem and the love of Hashem. The fear and the love of Hashem are like two wings to take everything that we daven up to Hashem under the throne of Hashem. It's two wings. We go to Psachim Nun. In a minute you'll see how everything is connected and what is the Maskanami Kulze. We go to Psachim Nun in the Gemara. It's written over there. I'm just giving you Nekudot Po. It's written that from Tehillim, page, chapter Nun Zayin 57, it's written, Ki Gadol at Shamaim Chasdecha. Your mercy is, is big until heaven. And then Tehillim Kuf Chaf Chet, Tehillim chapter 128, it's written, Ki Gadol Me'al Shamaim Chasdecha. It's the same, Mamash, the same words. The only difference, one is Ad Shamaim, and the second is Me'al Shamaim. Ki Gadol Me'al Shamaim Chasdecha. Your mercy is bigger than heaven. So it says in the Gemara, either it's, up to heaven, or it's above heaven. How ca- it can't go together. The Gemara says, yes, it does. This is when we study and daven, when we pray to Hashem, we read the healing to Hashem, we study Torah, Shelo Leshem Shamaim, not in the sake of heaven, Lo Leshem Shamaim. Lo Leshem Shamaim, and Me'al Shamaim, that it goes up in, under the throne of Hashem, is Leshem Shamaim. In a minute we'll understand everything. We go to Masechet Kiddushin. Over there, Daf Lamed, it says, Kacha Kadosh Baruch Hu Amar Lim Yisrael. This is how, what Hashem told the children of Israel. Banai, Barati Yetzara, I've created evil inclination. He says, and I made a seasoning for him, which is the Torah. But if you study Torah, Hashem will protect us not to fall with the evil inclination. But we see that we study Torah and we still fall in Yetzirah. If we are angry, if jealous, Leshonara, so many things. And a lot of people, everybody goes to the shul, the synagogue. Hashem says, if you study for the sake of heaven, not for your sake, not for your proud, but for the sake of heaven, truly, you clean your heart, with a measure of truth, then Hashem doesn't let the evil inclination touch you. But if you study not for the sake of heaven, then malasot, zechelek machayim. You have a struggle old every day, 24-7. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So how do we, pesiat adishmai, work on ourselves now that we open the year? With gimel etzbaot, with three fingers. What are the three fingers? So Ben Zoma, what did he say? That the distance is only three fingers between heaven, water in heaven, and water over here. And we all know the Checholet Shalosh Etzbaot. How can it be three fingers? And, and Bechlad, Rav Acha Ben Yaakov says, Kimlo Nima, like a thread of a hair. Ech zekechut ha-seara. Ech zek ba-ze ve-ze biyachat. Because, dear ladies, look how beautiful it is. Because if a person like Rabbi Moshe Kaur says, works on his measures, on his character threats, 
then besiata dishme traits me ule thank you carry carry the traits traits okay eventually i'll know what to say you said it okay besedo then besiata dishmaya we worship hashem leshem shamayim only for the sake of heaven what are the character traits thank you the akina הקנאה, התאווה והכבוד מוציאים את האדם מן העולם. Three, these are the three fingers. That's why when we bring korban mincha, the sacrifice of mincha, the kohen has to take three fingers in order to, to cause those three characteristics to become good characteristics. That's why we bring the korban mincha. קנאה, תאווה, אני ארשום את זה ככה. שיהיה. קנאת אהבה, רגע, כן, רגע, שנייה. A person who controls with Hashem's help, קנאה, תאהבה וכבוד, those three measures that create the three drops on the sword of the angel of death, he worships Hashem for the sake of heaven. Where, from where does it start when a person remembers that he should be humble? Anava. It starts from pride. Pride causes the klipa of sheker, the shell of sheker, which is a lie. The shell of sheker. Sheker causes kinat ava vekavod. Lie, the, the imagination that the evil inclination, sheetzara, causes us to think, well, I don't have enough. Look, this is married and I'm not married. She has children, I don't have children. She has a new kitchen, I don't have. Her husband, it seems that he's been... Yeah, all of this, this is an imagination. Because what we need for our fixing, we have. Hashem gave us. But the Yetzer Ara causes us to, th to imagine things and to want them and think that we deserve other things. We can do it in a positive way, but not in a negative way. So, kinat ha'avav ha'kavod, jealousy, lust, and honor take a human being out of the world. It starts from klipat sheker. When we start with klipat sheker, then from this we come lechet, avon, vepesha. Because from this we sin. We sin not purposely, this, this is chet, and then avon, we sin purposely, but we enjoy it. And pesha, that shelo alenu shelo neda, that we do chas v'shalom lahach is, to make Hashem angry. To mamash, to do it purposely, to rebel, exactly. And I want to show you something beautiful, and we'll come to the tefillin in a minute. So sheker, shin is 300, kuf is 100, and resh is 200, together it's... 600. Kina, Kuf is 100. Nun is 50, 150. Aleph is 1, 151. Hey is 5. 156. 156. Tava, Taf is 400. Vav is 6. Hey is 5, 411. Plus Aleph is 1, is 412. Kavod, Chaf is 20, Bet is 2, 22, Vav is 6, 28, Dalet is 4, 32. 32 plus 156 plus 412, it's 600. Wow. We go to Chet, Avon, the Pesha. Chet is 8, Tet is 9, Aleph is 1. How much is it together? 18. 18. Ayn is 70, Avon, Vav and Vav is twice, to, uh, 6 and 6 is 12, 70 plus 12 is 82, plus 50, 82 plus 50, 132, 132, Pei is, is 80, Shin is 300, 380 plus 70, which is Ayn, how much is it? 380 plus 70 is uh, 400 and... And 50. 450 plus 132 plus 18 is 600. When I said that Bereshit is giving a hint about the tefillin, tefillin of Rosh and tefillin shel Yad, so we put the tefillin, the men put the tefillin in order that Hashem will help them to control their mind and their heart. For the thoughts in the mind and for the thoughts in the heart, the desire in the heart. 
מפה מגיעה התאווה לבריאות, the desire in the heart. We, by, by our צניעות, us as women, by being modest, we do the same thing. Because if I'm modest, Hashem gives me the help to control my mind that wants me to be beautiful outside, that all the men will look at me, that I will be attractive, I'll feel good with myself. This is Yetzer Hara. But being modest, Hashem help us, helps us to control our hearts and, and our mind and to put it on the right track to Hashem and not to the Yetzer Hara, the evil inclination. This is by women, by being tzniyut in, mod, in modesty, and men by putting that feeling. So we need to atone for the mind and to atone for the heart, nachon? So look, kiper lalev ve kiper lamoach. Chaf, atone, both of them they atone, to atone for the heart, to atone for the mind. Chaf is 20, pei is 80, it's together 100. Reish is 200. We, we are atoning for the mind and, and the heart. So kiper to atoin is 300. 300 multiplied by 2 is 600. On that filin of Rosh, we have two shin. Nachon? Yeah. We have two shin on the right side of that filin and on the left side of that filin. Shin in numerical value is 300. So two, two shins, 600. In order that the mamash kacha, in order to atone and to levatel uh, and to eliminate v'siyata dishmaya, the influence of the klipa of sheker that causes us resha. Resha. Neisad chart zvieli melech rabbi zvieli melech medino v'alav shalom shotot agenenu says there are two klipot, two shells. One is of lie. And one of wickedness, Resha, because once you fall in the imagination of the evil inclination of all of its lies that it tells us, and we fall with ego, with pride, and if a person doesn't treat us well, we fall with jealousy, we fall with lust to things. Once, chas v'shalom, we fall in these gates, then we open a gate to Resha, because we don't do the will of Hashem. This is wickedness. So he says that the livelihood of these two shells comes from the sheen that is inside. You see? Yes, Resha has a sheen, and Sheker has a sheen. Resha is wickedness, has a sheen inside, and Sheker, lie, has a sheen inside. If I take out Resh, I take the sheen out, I have Ra, Ra, bad, and I have Rak only. And it says at the end of Bereshit, at the beginning of Noach, before the beginning of Noach, Vayar Hashem ki rabba ra'at ha'aretz, Hashem sees that the human beings do not treat well his world, and, and they are wicked. Vechol yetzer machshavot libo, and all of his thoughts in his heart, because we need to atone for the heart, all of his thoughts in his heart is rak ra, those two shells that there's no place for tshuva to repent. Rakra, those two shins, those two shins that I told you, 600. Shin is 300. When we read two books of Tehillim, each book has 150 chapters. 150 plus 150 is 300. Leshon Kiper to Atoin. Four books of Tehillim, dear ladies, 600 against these shells of wickedness and lie. So let's can and all of his thoughts in his heart is only bad. Why? Because he didn't atone, he didn't cleanse his heart. How do we cleanse? Us as women by being tsniut and the men by putting that fill in and they have like a radar straight to Hashem to cleanse their mind and their hearts because the battery is in the heart. Over there is the decision, the plus charging. a minute, yeah, exactly. Charging. Because on the right side of the heart, the right room of the heart is the good inclination. The left room of the heart is the evil inclination. Now I would like to tell you, when a person comes to this world, when a baby comes to this world, there's a light in, his womb, womb, in the womb of his mother, there's a candle lit and two angels are teaching him the Torah. There is an angel that teaches him the Torah. This angel is the good inclination. 
when he comes out of this world, there's an angel that gives him a flip to forget it. This is the evil inclination. Now, the evil inclination controls him until he comes to the age of 13 for boys and 12 for girls. Why? He, because he needs to be demanding. He has to cry to have food. He has to have attention. He has to be changed, diapers changed. He has to be selfish. And malasot. But at the age of mitzvot, when they, we accept the mitzvot upon ourselves, 12 for girls and, and 13 for boys, then the good inclination joins to the, again, it awakens and joins the, the evil inclination. So there will be a fight between both of them and it will be equal and the, we have the choice to choose the, the good, to choose life, because life is choosing the way of Hashem. Life is choosing the truth. This is the lulav, that you should purify our heart to really worship your Hashem in, in the measure of truth, which means we need to be also true with ourselves, not only to Hashem, but to, and to Hashem, He knows everything. He has like a magnifying glass. He sees everything, everything that we did, every word that we took out, every action that in four walls, nobody knows in the world, Hashem knows everything. There's a video. We were already recorded. Hashem knows everything. Yes, Hashem knows everything. He has shlichi messengers everywhere. So, dear ladies, now we see that these three fingers is these three measures. Jealousy, lust, and honor. We can worship Hashem for the, the sake of heaven. So, this is an honor for Hashem. Tava, we should eat and bless the food, Bezrat Hashem, and eat a measure like Hashem says, Vachalta, Vesavata, Uverachta, and Vehotarta, and you should leave on the table. So you don't let your. Oh, I heard something beautiful. I have to tell you something. And you, there was, there's a rabbi, his name is Rabbi Meir Eliyahu. He teaches in Yerushalayim, in the Bukharian shul there in Yerushalayim. But he, I heard a story from him that. I have to tell you, a, a man came to him and he says, well, Rabbi, on, on the month of Elul, I would like to do tshuva, tell me what to do. So he asked him, you should go and study Torah. And he says, you know, I don't have a l'shevet kol azman. And I, I study a little bit here and there, but I don't have the two sick l'shevet kol azman in one. Okay, to study all the time. So what shall I do? He thinks and thinks and says, you know what, what do you like? He says, I love meat. I like meat. So he says, you know what, next time when you eat meat, before you, you eat the whole lafa, you know, the, the whole lafa, leave the end. Don't eat it. He says, Rabbi, you know, it's very hard because when you come to the end, it's the, the juicy thing. He says, you, you asked me, don't eat. This is tava. You, you will control your tava. Okay, Rabbi, I'm going to accept it upon myself. I'll try. I'm going to try. After a week, he comes to the rabbi and he says, Rabbi, I have to tell you, in your schut, I did it. So he says, what did you do? He says, well, I went to Yerushalayim and I took, you know, the meat and everything from Morav Yerushalmi, and they made me a lafa and there's hummus and tchina and kharif and chips <laughs> and it has also salad and everything. And I'm eating and I'm enjoying it. And when I came to the end, I was thinking to myself, wow, this is so juicy because everything that I put went down. Now, this is the price. <laughs> and I was thinking, but the rabbi told me that I should control my last and I shouldn't eat the last bite. I should leave it. So he says, rabbi, in your schut, in your merit, I didn't eat it. He says, wow, kol kavod. He says to him, you know what I did? He says, what did you do? He said, I didn't eat the last bite, but I went and made myself another lafa. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. <laughs> so, dear ladies, even, even jealousy, Bezrat Hashem, Kinat Safrim Tarbe Chochma, the jealousy <coughs> that I would like to better myself in spirituality and become like a mortal, me the most scholar in Torah and more righteous. This is good jealousy. This is a good thing. 
but kina that causes us to, to make other people small and to slander them and to do bad things to people and ta'ava and lust that we want everything, we're not satisfied with anything and the honor to see our ego, to worship our ego, chas v'shalom, these are not good character threats, Bezat Hashem. Lo m'shanin, gam zetov. So dear ladies, we see now the three fingers that we need to work on them all the time. But... We didn't pay attention to Rav Acha. He says, Rav Acha ben Yaakov kim lo nima. How come the distance between the above water, the upper water to the lower water is like a thread of a, of a hair? Kechut ha-seara kim lo nima. How can it be? So it says, dear ladies, actually I'll give you the pasuk. It says, dear ladies, besiata dishmaya, it says כך, בתהילים, chapter 103, כי רחוק מזרח ממערב ירחיק ממנו את פשענו. That like the distance between east and west, Hashem takes out all of our sins. You know that there's a big distance between east and west, נכון? So look how beautiful it is. What Rav Acha ben Yaakov meant, he says, when you daven, and you stand to the east. In a second, you can change your situation. Your head is to east, you, you change it to the west. Mamash, you just move from one side to the other. Nahon? One minute you were in the east, the other minute you were in the west. Nahon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm facing the east, but now I changed my position and I'm facing the west. Like the distance between east and west, in a minute when the person has hirurei tshuva, when you think about toying to Hashem, doing tshuva to Hashem, repenting and asking Hashem to help you to better yourself as a human being, Bezrat Hashem, and that His will will be your will, in that split of a second, Dear ladies, all of this distance between heaven and earth, the water between heaven and earth, is like a, 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 um, a thread of a, of a hair. In, in mamash bishniya, how come? Because then all of our prayers and everything that we did, the moment we thought shuvah, Hashem gathers them with an angel and brings them up under the throne of Hashem. Even if they stayed over here, all of that filot and didn't go up to Hashem. Reach nichoach. That will be a smell that Hashem loves to see all of these letters, all of these words that we say to Him and praise His name and and daven for Klal Yisrael bezrat Hashem and pray for Klal Yisrael and the whole world. All of this in a split of a second. There's no distance anymore because all of that filot. That while we didn't do it for the sake of heaven, at the split of a second when we do tshuva, when we repent, go up under the throne of Hashem. So I would like to bless all of us, Bezrat Hashem, that Vesiyat Adishmaim, we will have the schut to repent the whole year. That Hashem's will will be our will, Klal Yisrael's will, and the whole world's will. And Bezrat Hashem will bring peace all over the world, and we will have the schut to greet. Mashir Tzedkan B'Marabi Amen. Amen. אליהו הנביא זכור לטוב לעולם יפרד אדם מחברו בדבר הלכה יחיד ורבים הלכה כרבים. So this was, נכון?